Joe Rogan's fans are lying to you. So this is one of those things that really gets under my skin. It really pisses me off. I've been seeing this a lot, man. I've been seeing this a lot. And so what's been happening is, especially starting with the Neil Young situation, Neil Young on Spotify had around like 7 million monthly listeners. Now that monthly listeners number um, is a unique listener number, meaning they're all different people. So that doesn't mean he got 7 million plays. It means that there are 7 million different people who listen to a song from Neil Young. So that's how many unique listeners he had. And so what I saw a lot of people doing was they were comparing Joe Rogan's monthly Spotify podcast downloads to his listener count. So his listener count is like 7 million in terms of his music, um, different people. And then they would say Joe Rogan got 200 million downloads on his podcast in the month. But those are two entirely apples to oranges comparison because um, it was only like 11 million per episode or something like that. So the vast majority of those people are the same exact people downloading each podcast. So that's not unique. Unique meaning different, right? It's different between 200 million different people listening to your podcast and uh, 200 million plays of your podcast. So you're comparing the 7 million Neil Young unique listeners to 200 million um, non-unique plays of the podcast. It's completely skewed, and so it makes it sound like, oh, Joe Rogan's way bigger than Neil Young, when in reality, they're around the same, um, because in terms of the numbers on that, because he, Joe Rogan probably has around, I don't know how many he's going to have, but it'll be between maybe like 11 and 20 million probably unique listeners, um, and Neil Young's is seven, but they're trying to compare it to the 200. So Megan McLean is going to make a similar argument here. Says, I think a lot of people are really missing the point. Ask yourself why so many Americans have fled mainstream media and gone to Joe Rogan. He gets 100 million listeners a month, and Jim Acosta can't even break half a million in prime time. Why doesn't anyone trust you anymore? So this is the thing, right? So I don't even know where the fuck this 100 million listeners a month number comes from. I mean, at least it's not the 200 million. But again, this is making an assertion that there are literally 100 million unique listeners. You're telling me a third of the U.S. population listens to Joe Rogan? Are you fucking, are you insane? Are you demented in the head? How does that even make sense to you? That's so stupid. That's not true. So you're literally trying to say, oh, he gets 100 million listeners a month. Jim Acosta can't even break half a million in prime time. Are you seriously saying that 500,000 people watch Jim Acosta and 100 million listen to Joe Rogan? So I see this too. It'll be like uh, concurrent viewership during a live show is completely fucking different from plays or listeners. Joe Rogan's podcasts aren't solely live streamed. Jim Acosta is going live. And so live concurrent viewers are way more difficult to get. And it's exponentially lower than post plays. So a video posted to YouTube is going to get way more views than a concurrent live stream is. Okay. So Jim Acosta is a, a concurrent live stream and Joe Rogan is a post podcast. And Joe Rogan probably get, he'll, he'd probably get like, I don't know, like maybe max 100K live um, if he were to go live, I would say, for his podcast. And 100K is a lot of live, that's an insane amount, huge, massive, gigantic number of live viewers. And so again, you're lying, you're just complete, you're making numbers up out of your ass. I don't even know where the 100 million listeners a month comes in. But they certainly are not unique listeners. These are just plays. So you're comparing plays to concurrent live viewers on TV. So it's just, it's just complete lying. And I guess, you know, got to love the misinformation, you know, the misinformation train uh, that's been going on with this situation. Jim Acosta says, I'll take tweets that didn't age well for 500. And she says, a little sensitive about how, about hilariously shitty your ratings are. So again, this is not true, right? The, the assertion that's being made here, you know, is uh, mainstream media dying? It is, but there's still tons and tons of boomers who watch this, who watch the show. And... Shout out to Glenn Bluewald on here on Twitter <laughs> defending Megan McClain. This is so hilarious. So he says everything in Megan McCain's tweet is still completely true. Millions of people still watch and trust Joe Rogan while Jim Acosta can't even attract an audience equal to a mid-sized YouTuber despite being on CNN primetime with the giant corporation backing and promoting him. Are you seriously saying that Jim Acosta is not getting as many viewers as a fucking mid-sized YouTuber? 
Based on what metrics? Based on total monthly views? You cannot compare totally total monthly video views versus a live show because concurrent viewership is exponentially lower than post plays. So how could you do that? And that doesn't even count. You know, I'm sure there are post plays for Jim Acosta's show. And so I hate mainstream media, but you're just fucking lying. You're just lying. So it's like, how do you just soullessly just make stuff up like this? Like, oh, yeah, Joe Rogan, 100 million listeners a month, Jim Acosta, 500K. How could you lie out of your ass just, like, so brazenly? Are you are you sociopathic? Is it mis- accidental misinformation? Is it disinformation? Like, I I don't know. What is it? I mean, I don't even know. But this kind of – this is why I don't – this is why I'm not on Twitter anymore because stuff like this just – it just passes by, like, even if it's on the left, you know, sometimes there'll be left-wing stuff that just won't be true either, like, um, I remember some Bernie sports were trying to say, like, oh, Obama was down 300 delegates at one point, that was, that was never true, that was completely false, it was never right, that was totally false, so some, this is why I don't like social media, is because people just get to say bullshit, like, oh, Joe Rogan has 100 million viewers, and Jim Acosta 500k, it's like, (laughs) that's such misinformation, and so, what do you do about this misinformation? Or again, like I said, is this is this misinformation or is this disinformation? Okay, this is what I'm, you're literally making the assertion that Jim Acosta can't attract an audience equal to a mid-sized YouTuber. A mid-sized YouTuber will probably get one to two thousand live viewers concurrent if they're popular. A lot of them will get way less than that. But like Kyle Kalinsky, he'll probably get two thousand. Okay, so. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about, dude? This does not make any sense. So this is why I don't stay on social media anymore. Just to, uh, you know, reiterate, Joe Rogan's fans are lying to you.